I'm I'm within te- Texas here in no, London, no. so I gotta you know make sure that the that English is the the English is, you like, know. You know it's- Boy, finish the DJ, Mr. Les Yada Yada Mo. And this is a futuristic episode of the Eminent Forecast. And I'm with, mm. of course, you got your girl, Lens, Miss Chocolates here. Yeah. <laughs> guys, 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 it's good to be back. Hey, like I feel like we haven't been shooting in a while, but we, we're here. It's just a week. Yeah, that week. I've, I felt well, you, st- you, you missed a week, that's why. <laughs> yeah, I felt yeah, 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 yeah. that, that, that. I felt that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, Tuesdays is for imminent guys. And shout out to the Sabis, guys. Speak. Shout out to the Sabis, of course. You guys, you guys deserve it. Guys, thank you so much. Eh? Like, we're really growing, and it's it's great to see that there's people that see, that, you know, see 100%. This, like, we're Vision. loving it. So and, and today, today we actually sports scene. Shout out, shout out, shout to out, sports scene, scene studio. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I didn't need to do that. What? I'm Don't sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and and we've got this beautiful lady. Oh, Don Kali in the building, everybody. Oh, of course, of course. Wow. 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 That was very quick. Like yeah. that was don't care That was very aggressive. Could you say that? It's yeah. don't care. Hey, she's, she's, oof! Hey, you put in the, the chocolate nice <laughs> Yo, that, that was that was you know, lovely. That was delicious. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I I I I learned for now. Things like I, I'm G like that. So don't care in the pill. You must know what's up. Oh, I'm wow, saying not fight. Yeah. This hype man. Yeah, Shout yeah, out. Shout out. Hi everyone. Let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. Sure. On the imminent forecast. So uh, I, that's hard to say it. Uh, Imm- yeah. Im- imminent. I love it. I love it. Too that much. was sweet. That was very sweet. Thank you. On the what? On the? On the what? On the what? Oh, on the pot. Yes, yes. Yes, the whole thing. Say the whole thing. Yeah, it's imminent. Podcast. Forecast. Forecast. Ah, yes. I was close. Yes. close if you enough. think about a forecast, well, I felt like podcast. that was like, yes. that's, that's I felt like that was like a guessing mean? game. That was like you know, game. like yeah. tomato, tomato. <laughs> Six not nine. Six not nine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, guys, we got Don Kali in the building. Yeah. Whew. Okay, you, you know what? Yeah, she's, she's heavy with the catalog, this one. You know me. Oh, like, I actually that. wanted to get into that, you know. Prior yeah. to this, she had an interview. Oh. But they, you know, they did a young intro for her. Like, oh my gosh. Rah, 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 rah. Like, that they was did, hectic. They threw in a lot. But yes. I want her to do her exactly. intro. Let's, Let's go. Wow. She Let's is. go. And oh what gosh, she does. Oh, and okay. what she's about. Oh, well, hi, everyone, again. <laughs> my name is Don Kellia. It's your cheeky old star. Um, I'm an alt pop singer songwriter, a fashion designer. I am goofy, weird, loud. I'm Gemini. Um, I've just signed to two places a uh, label, Electro Mode and Paradise Sound System. Um, oh, shout out to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout Let's out to the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to do it. Um, and also, I am releasing an EP soon. I think that's. Can I? Is that a good intro? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, it sums it all Go up, right? Right into it yeah. because I'm of just this beautiful, you know, yeah. like just like dot points. Okay. I was saying that in dot so, points. You know, I just feel like let's get into the e- the just, EP, yeah, let's get into, into the EP, into the EP. Because oh, she spoke okay. about he the EP, so it. I really want to know about the EP now. Because I want to know, know about her. Oh, okay. Let's, 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 let's like she just put in that EP, like oh, so we're going to EP mode. Okay, EP mode. Let's go. Okay. Wow. Before we go, there's count on you. Count on me. Count on you. Count on you. You wish. No, I don't even know you like that. I just met you. Ah, no. <laughs> no, we, okay, okay. We met. We yeah, met. I'm sorry. Cool. That's rude. That was rude. Yeah, though. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so Count on You remix is on there. So you will hear familiar song Sounds on it yeah, if you if you know my catalog before. No, things like I actually, I actually fuck with the song. That's why I'm actually asking. Oh, uh, that's really? Song. Honestly, Great I would song. think you'd listen to only like, you know, like trap or a piano, you know, like. Hard hit, and then when like counting you is such a melodic pop song, it's, no, a, it's, it's a, a romantic it's song. A, it's an amazing song, like even the production. Wow, 
What was the main oh, production? Um, so the, the main production, the Lord Jazz, is on Count New Original. Okay. And then the remix is Evita, who did My Guy. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, Evita. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're all familiar okay. with Evita. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So yeah, you want to so go into EP mode? Let's go to EP mode. Oh, uh, no. Like, you, you just mentioned the EP, so I just wanted you to just throw in that, uh, like, just the base of it more. since you already, like, laid it. Laid but it otherwise, down. we can go into yeah, knowing you and drive into. Mm, cool. So. Let's, let's, let's go. Like, let's talk number plate. Oh God, who's yeah. number plate? Oh my gosh, guys, who's Don Kelly? I mean, I'm South African born, but mm-hmm. I grew up in Sydney, Australia. Hence the the weird English accent. <laughs> she said Sydney, Australia. S- Sydney, yeah. Sydney. Yeah, yeah, Sydney. Yeah, Sydney. Oh, did you? Uh, wow, really? Sorry. It hasn't Mate. even been like so, ten minutes into so the interview, sorry, and you know, sorry. I think his pants are too tight, and he's blaming Mate. it on me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Say so what? Should we speak speak a Britain with you no, right now? No, not Britain. <laughs> it's me, my. You can talk like me. It's, 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 it's like the drunk cousin of England. That's yeah. what it is. <laughs> um, I am the youngest out of four. Um, both my parents are still together and in my life and support me. Um, I'm now currently staying in Josie, and I've been here for like four years now. True. Going for five years, probably at the end of this year. Um, I I like pink. As I said, I'm a Gemini. Yes, I know. It's so typical female. Like but anyway, I don't like care. I also, like um, pink. I also like pink. I'm addicted to coffee. That's that's something that you guys should know. I'm addicted to coffee. The way to my heart is food. <laughs> um, I and yes, and then as I said, I love fashion, so I studied fashion design after high school. Um, and then I went into music, and that's been my love since you know traveling LA in America and then London. Well, the yeah, London from England. Uh-huh. So yeah, that that's Don Calio. Okay, so you uh, actually lost the, lost the plot there. <laughs> so, uh, how did you like get into music? Like, how did you find your passion yes. in music? Um, I think it was, so, I mean, I always did it, like, throughout, like, school, um, primary school, okay. high school, musicals, oh. and all of that, and co- and concerts, and then it was, when I went to LA, I was, like, chosen to represent Sydney at an um, agency convention, where it had, like, producers from America, mm-hmm. and there was, like, a lot of them, and I was performing one night um, in front of the agents, and after performing it, like, you know, they all stood up and clapped for me, and it was, like, that feeling in that moment was kind of like, oh, I want to make this a career because before, you know, mm-hmm. music careers, everyone's like, like every- are you even, are you going to, is it a how, career? I feel like that's how I've been feeling. Like, it's like, like, like is, and you're is like, yeah, career? yes. Like, and you're yeah. like, like um, now it is the shit. You know? Yeah, and I think it was just like, I think if I keep that feeling within, obviously, because sometimes I'm like, what am I doing? Like, you know, things are quiet and whatever. But in that moment, I was like, no, I definitely... I want to keep feeling this feeling because it keeps me confident and it keeps me positive, actually, and going on the hardest days. So, yeah. Look at that political correct yeah. answer. You know, Vote like for you me. Are now, you are not sending mental health, <laughs> positiveness, and, you know. Let's go. You know, like, Sometimes okay. I sound like a cheerleader. I don't like it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm Are like, you cheering for yourself? Yeah. Please? Ooh. Yeah, Chocolate sway. Yeah, no, I've been here. Lent. Oh. Oh, yeah. you got this you got beautiful, this <laughs> beautiful beautiful so i want to know what keeps you inspired to like be in so many of these things like i mean you're in fashion you're in mm. music and you know like what keeps you going like, yeah to the urge of always you know wanting to go for go it for it yeah i think it's the point of like i'm always mm. someone who a likes to prove people wrong <laughs> so a lot of people are like you're not going to be the best designer or the best artist. So I was like, I mean, obviously everyone should be the best of something, whatever you're in. But I was just like, all right, but I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to be my best artist and my best fashion designer or, you know, designer. And so I love that, proving people wrong. And I think the second one was always that I just believed enough um, that I wanted to make myself happy and doing what I love makes me happy. Sure, so sure. I if sure I keep doing it. that, yeah. it's just showing my self-worth and my value in myself. You know? Uh, Woo! Oh my God, my sister be so proud! Yeah. 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 Guys, guys, this is turning into a girl show. Yeah, what's going on? She be like, it is, it is. Like, I feel like you're just ra- raising so much awareness. Like, of course, it's Women's Month. Yes. yes. Okay, shout out to Yeah, yeah. I just feel like you're 
situation going, you know, because of peop- there are people that are, are literally good in things, but yeah. they feel like, like I was listening to your interview, I see you said that you were good in music, but you like withdrew your bed for like yes, years, yes. and then you went back to it. Why, why, were, you li- why were you listening to that? That's rude, I'm kidding. That was great <laughs> listening. See, he was even like, when? But I Great listener. I appreciate you. Wow. But I was busy setting up. Mm-mm, whatever. Yeah, definitely. So I want to know. Yeah, I was getting getting to that. Like, why? why yeah. did yeah. The three years. Like, you didn't hear it, but yeah. <laughs> I asked the question why, though. Okay, yeah. Okay, yes, yeah. why? Mm-hmm. Um, I think in that moment, that's what I was saying. It was like, I didn't believe in myself. And I was like, that feeling of not believing myself and in that dark space was like, I never want to be there again. Like, it was so dark, guys. You know, when you, like, give up on yourself, it is... Yeah, I can understand some people might they might find it harder to get out of it. But I think for me, coming from a background of like privilege, I always say, I, I look back on my life and I'm just like, there's a purpose for me being able to get out of this space because of the privilege I have. And there's a reason why. So why not share it and do it for people who aren't actually privileged enough? So it was even that sector, not just my self-worth. It's like we're all humans. We're put on this earth. So it was the sector of if I can put myself out because I'm able to, I have the privilege to imagine what I could help even a friend, a close friend or a family member um, that might not be able to do it. And I think that kind of got me out of that dark hold. And also it was the Creators Live event. Those were also friends of mine who similar things that I had a little bit more of a privilege than them but the fact that they were on that stage and they were working it like they they were on top of the world it was kind of like if they can do it if anyone else who is honestly going through something really hectic like why can't you there's no excuse literally (laughs) you are here you are there you're breathing you're capable you shouldn't think you you can't do it even the fact that you're breathing like we don't even don't have even to be know. asking what you am for I doing? nice like, <laughs> I know, uh, like, like, uh, like youngies guys <laughs> please like guys listen to this like, I, I hope th- I feel like sometimes they inspire me sometimes you know when you see TikToks it's like these youngsters doing inspirational yeah. stuff you're like at 18 I was a mess I thought I was a Kardashian I think yeah <laughs> at some point I was like, I'm gonna be lit I'm gonna I'm just gonna you know wow. can I tell you no, you can, I also thought that at some point I wanted to be a neurosurgeon like oh Oh, and then at some good. point, yeah. like, oh, yeah, like you I were just, like, that was everywhere, man. Some point no. I wanted to be like, I don't know. Yeah, you were just like, we. But then, look where I am now. Look where you is. You're still touching lives. <laughs> You're still yeah. saving lives. Mm. And still educating lives. Right. Mm. What about high five for me? <laughs> what were you doing? <laughs> Okay, let, no, I'm kidding. No, you are you're living your dream too. No, I, I'm the guest with a posh mic. Okay, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, guys, this is too much. This is uh, too much. Yeah. I feel like I'm you're good. like I feel like she's not even the guest. She's the host right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like talking. So no, I, found love talking to you, lot, yeah, yeah. I found friends. I found friends. I talk a lot too. <laughs> I, I talk a lot too. Exactly. So. That's why we're, we're just communicating greatly. Like um, you know, we're bonding. <laughs> Lit. Uh, now tell us about your first record. Ooh, like, oh, if you remember, like the very like, first, like one. The first <gasps> one. Guys, it was waiting. What do you mean? Was it was called song? waiting. Oh, waiting. Yes, and that was oh, another love song. You know, don't, don't. I even tell myself, I'm like, don't you want these love songs? Honestly, even the EP, I'm not even gonna lie, it's, it's about love. So I was like, I can't, what? I can't even Are lie. You in love? But love connects people. Yes. It really Are you in does. Love? Is that right? Are you in love? So waiting was about my first boyfriend who dumped me. My oh. first ever boyfriend who dumped me. Because he was like, I don't think you know what you want and you keep moving. And I was moving country. So I understand. Okay. So wait, hear me out. Maybe I was the problem. (laughs) (laughs) Hear me out. (laughs) I think so too. Maybe I was the problem. But it was kind of like, yeah, I'll be waiting for you. The songs are literally like, I'll be waiting. But you're the one leaving. But I'm the one drifting and drifting (laughs) away. That was another lyric. Oh my gosh. I You are waiting while leaving. (laughs) Yes. It's like, I'll wait for him, but I'm leaving... You're doing why? both at the same time. You yeah. are waiting, and but you are leaving while you're waiting. You understand? Was, you see, I'm always like that. That's I'm something that he had to understand. That's why he had to leave because he didn't understand. Yeah, yeah. he did. Like, yeah, because oh, you yeah. are waiting. Mm-hmm. I'm dear my God. While you are leaving, it's it's messed up. You understand? Yeah. So what do you want understand? You. Like, when did you do the song? Twenty. Oh my goodness. Twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. Earlier. Oof, guys. You may. Yeah, twenty seventeen. Yes. So your first record was in yes. twenty seventeen. Wow. Yes. So I had okay, no. Oh my gosh! Paint the town. Oh, that was the one I did in LA. Oh no, because I was eighteen then and was like 
the very first, you know, like try. I call it the trial mm -hmm. song, even though my sister's friend in the UK was like, can we bring Paint the Town back? Don't go look up Paint the Town. Oh, yeah. well, You're going to do that, aren't you? Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, um, to do that because right now, I literally like am like, I'm painting the town that I'm here. That was my song. Yeah, but this dope sounds like, like I'm literally in, like, my lyrics are, I came to paint the town. <laughs> I feel like she's just saying it. Came happy. from the bottom up. There's no going back down. Like, oh, I, oh, I was just rhyming because you know I just came out of school in uh, English. Don't you, but don't you, know? you feel like that's the beauty of of growth. of where yeah of yes. where you are and the growth because of yeah. now we get to see Don Kalia yeah. oh. then to yeah. now and like you know the different stages that you go through because i feel like in terms of your music don't you also want to have that different stages that you know this is me like then me, yeah, no me definitely then, me, you know, and i and hope I'm, I'm going like this way you know like growth rather mm. than it's like everyone's like wait you know yeah, yeah. of course of course people are gonna obviously you're gonna yeah they're gonna go but that that track but you are like you know because of of course you're seeing the different mm. stages and because of i mean there's a certain feeling that you also want people to feel when they are yes, listening to your true. music and to also see you in that light mm. you know so um yeah i gotta tell you yeah no definitely i think it it that record fitted me at like 18 you know when it was also like um i feel like some artists in the, the industry will tell you to grow up too soon and not in a sense of like dress wise because that's what always people assume like oh why can't i and i'm like no it's more in the the lyrics you use and the mindset you're in and in that mindset at 18 i was a typical 18 year old like i said i was airy fairy and just out of school and like we you know you, you thought you were the shit you were yes. like like I, I did i look at me i'm hot like, I'm, i can do everything i'm gonna be anything and like and you literally see that even in like the music video and the whole song you're like it's like a boss up track and then towards growing up a bit was more like oh my god i'll be waiting why are you doing this to me and, and then you see the you know the confidence we get you know and i'm not mid 20s the young adult stage like 22 mm -hmm, 23 22. where i'm like your, your sexuality you're allowed it which yeah. is you know lucky for these young ones <laughs> they're allowed to show it as like 16. Yeah, 16 we had to wait yeah, we're too <laughs> too we, we, really had, we had to wait till like 22 23 generation because they be like moving like like yeah no we were yeah we were the last ones to just to keep the no when only when you're 24 or yeah. 23 and it's like what these kids are 13 and they are aware of their sexuality. And true, true. you see that in my music with like booty interlude and call me. I'm like, yeah, I, I you know, I'm hot, you know, I'm, I'm yeah. sexy. I know, I, I know about a booty call. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that should be a meme right now. Honestly, that was great. You know that was a great one. <laughs> no, but that's 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 like speaking the truth, man. So these two kids should know, man. Like they really are be going fast. Like they <gasps> like they like boom boom. Because they're, like. they're the social media kids. They're the, they're the yeah. AI kids. They have to watch everything from young guys. From like probably four years old, they already have gadgets. Yeah. We don't even know. Remember, do, you, yeah, do you remember we had to go for computer class lessons in grade five? We were 11 yeah. and going, A, space. Yeah, but understand. And we were That's playing right. Mario to so learn how to yeah. use the computer. Yeah. Remember that Mario, like the old school? Yeah. Like, you know what? We weren't we learning to, how to make an Instagram account and how, how to, how to edit content creator. Content creator. Uh, hey, we, we were late. Yo, we were, yo, we were delayed. Yeah, it was terrible. We were super delayed. I don't know if it was terrible or not. I don't know. I, don't yeah, know. I feel like it was great because we turned out great. Yes, we are great. <laughs> oh my cool. God, all the Gen Zs are going to be like, we don't like you. Like, we don't care. <laughs> We don't care. Okay. <laughs> don't care. I told you that she's the host. Yeah, she is. Today, no, she's the host like. The host. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> Moving forward. Okay, fast forward. Uh, twenty twenty two. We are right. Yeah. Yes. Oh I'm my goodness. Like uh, <laughs> Imminent. That's why. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know what's up. Uh, so, first track twenty seventeen, right? Mm. And twenty twenty two, we're dropping an EP. Mm. So now, can you like describe the journey? How it's been? terms of your growth and yeah. like what kind of challenges you actually went through because mm. uh, are you still with universal music um so i did the the one track with them um because i was also like aware of contracts and stuff and i was like look i'm also an independent and upcoming artist i don't want to just throw all my eggs here already and y'all okay. are universal because yes. they could easily just 
And I and I knew. And the thing is, honest, artists need to be honest with themselves. You have the dream and the passion to, you know, see the big numbers, but also be realistic and go. But are they on your team? Are they willing yes. to do that as a big entity who are focusing on people like a Casper in the same? sphere of you as a nasty C and you gotta be honest with yourself and go all right but you know i don't want to now not be seen so i was kind of like to them i don't know i was honest with them i was like can i just do this one track and see how it goes and then see the relationship, the relationship. and how it goes oh, that was smart yeah that was really and, smart. and the thing is I've, I've still kept with them and they and they don't even have bad beef because electro mode is under umg sa they're uh, not under their uh, family umbrella Kind yeah. of like a family partner, like Death oh, Jam, okay, and okay. Oh, okay. so it's not like I fully left them. It's just like I, I found the team that actually sees me as I see myself, but okay. nothing against Universal or Sony. Okay, so uh, yeah, ele- okay, Electro Mode, you saying? Yes, okay, Electro Mode. Who's that? They are a musical distribution um, group, but they also have label services. Okay. So if they're not like. Hey, we want you as an artist because they go out scouting, guys. Guys, Electro Mode is everywhere. I didn't, honestly, I met them at like Gigi Lemayne's like um, release party for her album, mm-hmm. which I'm on. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Gigi. Shout out to Gigi, actually. We met at a Blackie um, event and she was just like, come here. I was like, hello. Oh, and she was, yeah, shout out because she was just like, you're someone new, interesting. Like, tell me more about you. So I met them through her, but they had said we we heard, obviously they heard the album because she was working with them. And they were just like, we want to take a chance at something new. And I was like, but a lot of people in the industry know them. They, they're everywhere. People are like, oh, Electro Mode. I'm like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen them in like uh, Electro events. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Please do the pump. Please do the pump. Is there no pump? Pump, pump, pump. We've got to do the pump, pump, pump. You are doing it yourself. Oh my god! You know, let's just like ignore him and like have our own podcast. Can we blur him out? (laughs) For the rest of the thing, he's just like blurred. Can't do that. I'm joking. Can't do that, man. Um, but yeah, it was so. I just liked um for them. It just made sense because. Yeah, for me as an artist, I was like, I want to do that for myself rather mm. than, you know, going with people are like, but you should do Universal or Sony because that's just what we know. Yes, and I was 100%. just like, no, I'm someone who also, I'm, I'm weird. I like going to places where I'm, I'm unsure because I grew up traveling and I was always in uncomfortable positions mm. or meeting new people yeah. and making myself comfortable. And those, those relationships have been the best. So Literally, it was that thought. Are. Yeah, it was that thought. Like, let me not do something familiar let me move to something that's unfamiliar. And also I was like the intern at Universal. So I was like, I don't want to be the intern for life. Because they were always like, intern! I saw you drop. Oh, yeah, and I was like, oh. I was like, guys, I'm an artist. They're like, intern, I like your song. I was like, oh, oh wow. Yeah, but that's the, that's the okay. She's hustling this one. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's going to be upping the ranks. They will be saying that. Like, they, they're not oh, going to be yeah, saying Yeah, they're going to be like, hey, Don Don't Kelly. <laughs> Don Kelly. <laughs> oh, but I feel like that's going to stick. You see the Don Kelly you know, is going to stick. Oh, I promise you. Hashtag I just see instead of Don Kelly, there's Don Kelly. Like oh, I guess that's me. Oh, hashtag. <laughs> hashtag. Don't start the hashtag trend. Don't do. Don't, don't, don't put do. it underneath the credits, please. You just see. <laughs> please, please, please. No, like, I feel like I feel <laughs> like I feel like. Oh, like, no. like oh, I did. You know what? I did. You know what? I have no filter. I should have kept it to myself. Bruh. No, you can't. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> what was the other question you asked? Uh, okay, I'll the about single the oh, yeah. of Counting You. Back to that. Didn't you say because you re- that was the last single you released? Or yes, no? oh, yeah. I want to talk about like uh, from Counting You, yeah. like the growth and what has yes. been transpired in that journey. In that journey, yeah. 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 We spoke about uh, Universal. Oh yes, yes, and then the other thing. Well, yeah. I think I mean especially now with my guy featuring Avida, the single, the lead single of the EP out now. I think that's even a bigger growth. But from yeah, the my guy single Counting You, and then before. It's definitely I'm more refined from counting you into my guy. So I'm I sound more solid as an artist. So you can go, oh, Don Kelly. I'm not just one thing, but you can go, that's Don's sound. Don, so oh, it will okay, it will be okay. continuous on a beat with, you know, you or trusted or So uh, basically you found your sound. In a, yeah, in yeah, a way. And even uh, the way I would express myself yeah, okay. on another Genre, genre, you know, like That's if someone's like, yeah, say, more like in terms of expressing yourself in a different way, whether it's the sound and this yeah. sound, but you definitely know who you are, even yeah, through that sound, exactly. Sure. You're even like the the flow and the the, the way I write, even because I always like intentionally write a specific way, so you're like, 
she's she's she she's gonna do this oh wait but she might do also this so you'll never know when but oh. you'll know don you know will hit us with this kind of flow away that's, that's like that's yeah. like growth for you to get to that point like that's yeah but it was like sitting and doing singles and great and very versatile singles like if you go through my catalog you're like but waiting was very like punk rock pop and then um booty is is r&b hip-hop flex is hip-hop flex, flex, flex is just <laughs> hip-hop flex. It's flex hip hop. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, hip hop pop. Yeah. What do you say? Because I'm on. Yeah. I guess because I'm a hip hop pop. I thought that you're like singing. Hip hop pop. Flex is there, bro. She was even saying that she got a gig in LA. I'm like, Whoa. oh. Do you know that somebody that's said that I thought they said that I wrote that song for their man to opt them, and I was like, no, I wrote it about me just flexing on people. But you know what? If that's getting y- me streams. <laughs> yes. <laughs> let's go Let's go. Let's go that way. You know, I yeah. Also, you know. I was like, I mean, if that's how they interpret it, I can't say no. Shit, <laughs> As an yeah. artist, you can't tell people how to interpret your song. Yes. Not at all. So on Flex, you worked with... Uh, Breeze the looking bass. Bass king. I was about to be Breeze. No, he always goes, Don. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the other way around. Yes, and he's like, he's like super dope. And yes, how was that? I was working with him. Oh no, it was so him and 808 are like they, <laughs> they're like the the cool brothers. You know those mm-hmm. cool brothers that you're like, yeah, those are my big brothers. You know, and then, because when you came into the studio, they they give you so much hype. They're like, nah, you got this done. Because I was like, oh my, when he first played the track, I'm like, this is very hip hop for me. Yes. Like. It's so you know how that beat yeah. sounds like dun, 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 dun. and I was just like, Oh, I don't wanna ruin this for you guys. I don't wanna come in Georgia Smith, I'm a piano that song, I don't wanna do it. Oh, 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 it's oh, fine. Nadine. Everyone everyone had an opinion on that. Georgia Smith's never gonna see this. If she is, she probably will agree with me. <laughs> um Georgia, honey. Georgia, but I love you, Georgia. You're a phenomenal artist. It and you are beautiful. Uh, oh gosh, yes, she is. Um, but they were like they made it so comfortable and they were like, go on. And because of the confidence in that, when I started doing it, they were like, now push more, push harder. So it was very fun. They made it fun. They made it funky. And the, the vibe was like, you know, like when rappers get into a studio, yeah, it was literally yeah. that. And I was like, I've never experienced that because usually I deal with one rapper, but not many. Many rappers, like a yeah. group. The energy. Yeah, the energy. energy. No wonder you guys make such music. Like hip hop artists. Because the energy. Yeah, they're like... T- yeah, but I feel like you killed it though. Like I don't feel like you were like out of place. I, I hope feel so. Like, you like went in and just like bah, 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 yeah, because I also like, brought like I said the don. I was about to be like yeah, the, the, oh, bah, 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 is it? Yeah, it's just. The <laughs> oh gosh, is it violent? <laughs> we don't no, believe in gun laws. No, we don't have the shot. <laughs> we do no, we not believe have, in no, gun policy. Yeah, shot. no, we don't. <laughs> we don't keep that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think like I said, I wanted to add the don flair in the rapping. Not not be a doja or nikki mm. you know because we grew up on that and we always wanted to be like a nikki or something yeah. but i was like how would i sound like that i i have a very english sounding accent so and i grew up on a mixture of rap sounds which mm. was the grime rap aussie rap and south africa well yeah south african rap and american rap yeah. how do i infuse that all together and that's you know how i wanted to implement that's actually what i wanted to ask you like like imagine the versatility you bring in from traveling that side mm. and being from south africa and staying that side mm. like the versatility yeah. that you have in the music that you bring in like you can play music that side you can play it yeah just, like you know guys my music is playing on sabc traditional uh radio station Issue. i don't want to butcher Ooh. it but i'm not Issue. Issue. i'm not Issue. Issue. Yeah, no, and they were even like it's because it's that what you just said I am, I'm actually, because of all the, the culture that I've gone around and even immersed in SA, mm-hmm. when I came back, because obviously I was away for a while, but when I came back, I was immersed in so many different communities, even that I wasn't familiar with when I was young, because obviously you're young, how do you remember yeah, some? I, remember. I was just kind of like, because I respect the cultures and I'm always so inspired, I'm like, okay, okay, this is, you, I asked the question, like what? What music do you listen to? What makes you tick? What makes you... And a lot of... It's so funny because my friends like from different suburbs, all of that were just like... In one suburb, it's like just Travis Scott. In the other suburb, it's like um, country music or... And you wouldn't expect the places who like the country music and the pop sounds and the Justin Bieber's. You'd course. be like... You'd think four ways. Nah, bruh. So it's all. True. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I, that's true. <laughs> I was, I was like, like, where like, does your, your most support come from? 
Um, right now it's definitely Johannesburg. Shout out, shout out, JHP. Josie. So I appreciate it. And then it's, 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 in, be- it's in between Cape Town and Sydney, hey? Like they're head to head. They're like, they're like, oop. You know, Cape Town's like, bye Sydney. And then Sydney's like, move. Oh. You know? <laughs> and then after that, it's, um, it has been London and <laughs> guys, it was this, uh, what's it called in, in America? Uh, was it Texas or somewhere? It was one of the down south places, like one of the cities. It, it, yeah, it was weird. I was like, okay, I guess I'm communicating with southern, uh, like North America. I can't say south, you know, southern America because it's South America. But you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah, like it's down good. south. So we've been it was a kind of down like, south. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was even have that. And I was shocked because I'm just like, yeah, okay, it's either either. there's a problem that I'm communicating with the rednecks. <laughs> Or connecting with them, <laughs> <laughs> but I hope it's. I hope it's not. I hope it's not. It's okay you, to say Rene. You are too much. <laughs> it's yeah, okay is. to say yeah, that. <laughs> They'll probably be proud. <laughs> no man, shout out to today's episode. It has like a lot of Texas, uh, <laughs> Australia, <laughs> you know what what I like Sydney. Sydney. <laughs> like, <laughs> what did we say? Tennessee also. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Maybe it was Tennessee. Maybe it was. Like guys, you see, oh. like guys, like eminent guys, like we y'all maybe even the they're show. gonna be like we're yes. gonna find London on our top views. Yes, no, yes, definitely. I think you will. No, you definitely will. My sister was studying there, so I'll send it to all of her friends True. because they, uh. they 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 they're very supportive, <laughs> which is cute. Oh, dope, I feel dope, like dope. that's great cute. if you have a great support structure, man. Like yes, you know, cute. we. So, what are you saying to the young ladies for the Women's Month? Oh. We definitely need, more especially to the artists, you know, because more me, mm. I'm all about um, the people in the music industry that yeah. are there, that are good, and there are people that are good, but they just mm. can't show their shell and show yeah, themselves, you know? Themselves. Like, the importance of how you said... Um, in that three years you withdrew i feel like maybe mm. even in that three years you took the time to even find yourself and find who is don Kalia yeah. and like what is she about you know because of definitely you also don't want to get into a space of making music and now you also don't know at which yeah, point you're, you're like, going what? like you know it's just like <laughs> <laughs> so you know i definitely would like you to like you know inspire the young artists the mm-hmm. young women mm-hmm. that you know are finding it hard to you know put themselves out there and but they want to be out there yeah, but they are yeah, doing yeah. stuff but they're just not coming it's out not coming, yeah. you know like what do you say to them like in your journey of pulling out and coming back so strong mm. you know like now you're about to have an EP coming out like mm. that's wonderful to see that you know <laughs> you've you've done s- like so splendidly great for yourself like Ooh, Ooh, I wish. look at that English yeah, 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 yeah. there you are yeah, I'm, I'm within te- Texas here yeah, in London no. so I gotta you know make sure that the that English is the English is, you like know. you know it's Oh my gosh, I'm not going to be technical like that. I'm going to stay on my uh, basic <laughs> English. <laughs> um, a shout out to you. Um, so I think what I can say to like aspiring artists, independent artists, um, females especially, it's just that um, for the female um, space is that we need to support each other because it is a very male dominant kind of industry, especially in the music industry. And, you know, they whatever has been said is true. You will get looked at a certain way. You will be treated a certain way. But I think if we group together, and like as we've been doing and keep going um it just change has to happen like people have to start listening and changing their minds um and i think also giving out a hand and being open i always say to people after interviews dm me you know when they come in they're like how do i get hold of you i'm like dm me especially you know independent artists are coming artists just dm me and i will answer you back because for me i said i always wish there was you know that artist where you're like yeah they're making moves um you know, I can ask them, I have accessibility to them, but they then they don't get back to you and you're like, oh, okay. And you can get overwhelmed and leave it, and right? But for me, I was like, maybe I can be that for other artists. And I'm not saying there'll be everyone, I'm not perfect. You know, you miss your DMs or messages, but I'm like, the few that you, you, you see me and that I can, I will definitely reach out to you. Like I had two that I spoke to them about, you know, my new signings. I spoke to them about my journey and even like, you know, Ditto and DistroKid and how to go about that. And they were just like, they even they were like shocked they were like is this really you oh thanks so much because they were like we didn't think you would respond and i'm like no i was like for me it teaches me also and reminds me too so if i get to 
yeah speak to aspiring artists artists like me who were like no i don't want to do this anymore or you know females i it feels like it reminds me of why i kept pushing and why i should keep pushing so it's definitely that guys let's all get together let's all be a community because no one else is going to help us in our industry we've seen that only ourselves and the same with within ourselves of getting off that bed off that couch um and going i'm gonna do this now for myself and you heard it. You heard it, you heard you it, heard it here first. <laughs> you heard it here first. That's right. You heard it here first. Live. Live on the uh, internet oh, forecast. Right here. <laughs> okay, so you worked with uh, Boscasi. Yeah, no, well, I networked with Boscasi. Oh, yeah, network. so we were in the same group. Boscasi, Benny, Costa. And that was before Benny, 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 Benny Chill, Chill. yeah. Oh. Before before they even like um did music, it was like, you know, that that time where oh, it was the yes. transition. Was it when the still Casper's dancers? Yeah, so oh oh, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, you did you, you deserve <laughs> that <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Yeah. Yeah, well Boscasi yes. was always doing music, but um I think she was also finishing off. So I I met but I only met her through Benny and I. We all hung out. But because of that community, I always say, like, we still communicate now. We still network. And that network helped me kind of establish to keep going and keep pushing. And, I mean, um, even the producer that did My Guy, Avida, and even the feature, he has worked with the likes of Boscasi and even oh, Jules sure. from Blank Spaces, um, who's also yeah affiliated with Benny and that. And I think it's also just, yeah, that's just kind of how we connected and got to know each other. Lynn. Yeah. Lynn. Okay. Uh, shout out to the Valley Kids. What you know about that? Ah! Oh, the Valley, Valley kids. kids. Yes. So Caesar, the the alpha dad or the the creator. Firstly, firstly, creator. firstly guys. Yes. Y'all are very deep, so you need to tell us what is Valley Kids. <laughs> sure, let's play. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what I mean right now. Oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, the so Valley new. Kids was a, the a community with artists, yeah, artists, artists yes. young youth useful people come together and you throw parties where you can perform you can yeah. help you know get money yeah get money yeah and show us the wild one and, and i was not the wild one but <laughs> yes for a while i was lit like <laughs> i was like project that wild, lit, like, lit, lit. i was just lit Ooh. and we would just like go to parties and we'd perform and um, but it was fun because the thing is, if you had studio or needed someone to shoot for you or anything, yeah. they like would a, pull it was through. A family, it's a family, right? yeah. yeah, it's and I was alpha mommy. Oh my gosh, when Caesar made me that, <laughs> I was like, and then he's like, you're neglecting your kids. I'm like, okay, Whoa. um, Whoa. no, Caesar. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I was, I still like, you know, on the group. I mean, it's been quiet for a while. I mean, I hope they're well, but it was so nice because say you were having a dull week or you were down, they were always checking up like, how is everyone? Or there was something funny going on and it just like made your day. It made your year and everything. And also if you had music and you posted on there, people would support it. They yeah, would go stream yeah, it, shit, repost. Shit, so yeah, I love the Valley Kids. Oh, Where are the kids? Shout out, do they shout need, out to Valley Kids. Do they need mommy back? <laughs> We it's did good. work on a song, Rockstar Real. Love, and I love that, guys. I'm gonna make you listen to it after this. But <sighs> Caesar, Caesar, oh. man, <laughs> only wants to drop when he wants to drop. Yeah, so no, he's deep with you've got to like respect <laughs> his, his timing. His timing. I just have timing. But honestly, I, I was, but I played that song at every gig I had once we made Real. it. Yeah, and people. That's what I was saying. That's what I was telling him. People liked it was was showcasing it and people were like that was one of the top songs i I like i want rockstar love Mm. and i'm like it's not out it's not even mixed mastered yet but they liked Uh, the demo version the demo version already so i'll make you listen to it but yeah we did we made one song we did and also also honestly going deep uh i saw you with uh dj of all tracks Mm. oh my gosh you are just jumping in you know they went to my um music school that i studied at rise academy For real? they oh. were lecturers i think they were they were studying dj or they were dj lecturers and then yeah oh shit. so kind of commu- connected because i performed at one of their events and they Vans. were like we're old um you know mm. wool wool words <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> guys i'm sorry i just saw my wool words coffee coming and i was uh, like wool words. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah he was he like hit me up because he was just like hey yo you're a rise academy pastor and don't you want to perform here and after that we just kind of connected and now he's having a fundraising for um, school kids who are underprivileged and that's going to be in September. So we're working. Wait, why are you saying he? Isn't it two guys? 
Well, the one I'm to Aaron. Oh, yeah. Okay, so okay, okay, okay. he's been kind of Voltrex for a while now, even mm. though there's two. There's two, yeah. Yeah. So because I'm dealing Voltrex with Aaron. Are, Voltrex are actually the guys that actually made uh, the, the thing, the intro for McG's uh, podcast. Yeah. Oh, they produced that. Yeah, they, 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 they're Liddy. Yeah. Like they've been doing the most. Oh, there's, a lot of artists, there's, some, there's a lot of artists in South Africa that are like really low key yeah, about stuff. Like yeah. they do like, yeah, you but just sorry. like. Get yeah. shocked, like to see this. Oh, 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 damn you! You yeah. the nigga that did that. Did Jeez, that, yeah, like, okay, yeah, names yeah. to the face, yeah. finally, or oh, names crazy. to the whatever. Yeah, can't believe you went but there. Look at you. He's <laughs> <laughs> oh, doing his research. Oh. Nah, the things like the people I mentioned now is just like uh, like fam. You see, oh, okay, like, yeah. Tough, just like, yeah. Ah, so shout out, you know. Yes, and, 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 and Vanessa is yeah. a very lover of. You know, sentimental like people. Yes, he when is. You, like that, you go ask he like yeah, like yeah, full tracks like what kids the the, 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 the the family kids the family kids. You see, like I like that. It's like once he writes for you, you write. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut oh, up, oh, sorry, out. I don't know the. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> did you see what I did? I was like, <laughs> you are uh, awkward. Just, yeah. just, <laughs> my dancer the other day, she was like, she was like, yeah, and I was like, she was like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like no, <laughs> oops. Yeah, yeah. Funny to mention dancers. I saw you. I saw you thing uh, on that uh, flex music video dancing. <laughs> How was that? Did that come out? I look like the whitest <laughs> girl trying to hip hop because yeah, I had not danced in years. <gasps> no, because I I had like strictly hip hop dancers mm-hmm. with me. So Breeze had been like, no, let's like he likes doing put you know the youngsters on, and he was mm-hmm. like, look, there's a music video, come be on it. It's for an artist, and they're like, yes, let's go. Now they were like train in like hip hop yeah. and even contemporary and everything so when they hit the move it's different to how I hit it because I'm like but it was fun That's to fine, be yeah. in formation Beyonce formation I, feel like I felt like Beyonce no, no. Oh. And no imagine you just see me like <laughs> no but she killed like, it let's check it out did you guys like do it like a what is it called a whole choreography yes no we like, had we had yeah. rehearsals of course yeah, imagine course. I didn't just Woke up like that. <laughs> no, I didn't. I, I, I thought you were I actually didn't. Didn't say I just woke no. up. But now you did. I, yeah, you no, woke up like I, that. I did. I did. You woke up. Okay. But now it's even more extreme because my choreographers now are are helping me to do festivals and stuff. Just because mm. they were like, we're gonna keep you at a certain level so that you know when we can't come through and mm. we give the dancers that we train, you're at that level already. Yeah. But oh goodness. It's next level now. <laughs> oh and I, fe- I feel like it actually, like, it also it may help the brand, especially for people to take you serious. Because if you just yeah. don't just come through and just it's you and the mic, then it's yeah, just like yeah, yeah, another artist different. there, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. I, I love the... Because people always be like, why are there three people on stage? I was like, three artists. Oh, it's a band. Wait. <laughs> oh, it's a performance. Yeah, and I mean, yeah. like I said, I studied music performance. So that gave me just that extra mile to do that, to take time out and go, I need to rehearse. I need to do this. Even, you know, before I'm like the uh, Beyonce mm-hmm. or on that level where it's touring on that um, or touring a lot. It's kind of like, let me start at every event to just already think of me there. And do this, and actually, it's made the difference, and people have noticed. I actually yeah. want to know now a very like serious <laughs> question. Don't like, look at me like, like that. You're like, how's how's it like singing and dancing both like at the same time? Oh, it's it's, so it's, it's a lot. You just need to know what it's to a lot. Like, no, because you have to remember to breathe, and then and then you like did I pitch, but now you can't stop the show, and then you have to remember your choreography because yeah. now you have people like, with you. Time, <gasps> you're singing, and then yeah. you like. Um, mm. But I think it's like because I say I practice, so you know when you're in the shower before you get in the bath, you know when you're waiting for the water, and you're like. <laughs> like, I'm like literally in front of the mirror. I'm like, ah, ah, yes, I am naked. Get doing that. Yeah. Screw all of y'all. I don't care. I'm in my bathroom in private, <laughs> and I'm on stage. <laughs> okay, in my mind. Um, but I'm practicing the routines over and over, and I, I and it's fun. You're like a kid again. You know how I used to do when you're a kid. Yeah. Ah, yes. guys, we, uh, like you, you actually reminded me on my birthday. Every I think like for a good four years I had a best friend. We used to do like performances for my dad, like wow, we used out, to sing out. and do performances. Like we planned the whole thing the whole week, and then we know my concert and my birthday. Like see? that was some yeah. That reminds me of my cousin Noiz also. He's also an artist. He's he does Noiz, right? Noiz. Wes. Noiz, yeah. Wes, Wes. No, no, no Wes. No. Remember oh Kim yeah, Simon. Yes. Oh, uh-uh. number Simon. Plate. Number plate. Number plate. Number plate. Number, <laughs> number plate. <laughs> I'm so he knows I call him Simon, yeah. and I refuse to call him by his artist name because I know him as Simon. Wow. Mm. Anyway, he's also he was like uh he's like growing up, 
like he used to be like put on shows like they used oh. to book him for bad days to come through with their whole dance the whole do that. <laughs> oh <laughs> I love that, that I like that that's that 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 some really no, really good shit some dope, some dope stuff Cause, but for me it was bad because I couldn't dance I like, still can't dance I feel like you can you look like a dancer no, no, in this no, outfit no, ooh, ooh, do I look like a dancer in this outfit you look <laughs> like a superstar <laughs> Uh, shout out superstar Ooh, shout Ooh. out please give me the shout out <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, of course of course <laughs> issue and also your TV debut uh, uh, espresso yes I got more in the morning guys that was yes I feel like that's the reason you I gotta beep me that was beep me cause I'm gonna switch <laughs> mother <laughs> it's you don't have a beep no, 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 that was motherfucking early like I woke up at 3 a.m. and oh, I was yes. like, the shows are like always early. I was like, oh, because yeah, so you have to arrive at a certain time. So you have, you have to be there by 5 a.m. But now you have to get ready. This is your, this is the TV. Town, right? yeah, yeah. So okay, we so. went there, and then obviously we were like, have the night before, and then we we messed up because why did we drink the night before? Because we were like Cape Town, oh, wait, Cape Town's <laughs> comes 3 a.m. And me and me really and my creative director, we looked at each other, and we were like, oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> you know that wake up when you didn't sleep, yeah. and oh. we were like putting like she was putting makeup on, like also half like tipsy, and like because you're from the night before. Oh, yeah, yeah. But when we got there, we were like, okay, come on, be professional, let's go. And then they offered coffee. And that it was nice but also guys there's new shows on SABC um, because it was like obviously before you go on they're just like you just gotta wait here before you go into the makeup and the styling so we were watching like SABC channel before even the show started so we were like watching all the kids shows yeah. all oh, the babies catching up, literally. catching up but that was so much fun because it was kind of similar actually yeah similar to this where it was like a, it was a human experience they were humans mm-hmm. we we're human they were like are you good i'm like i'm good it wasn't like you know when you think of express you're like oh my god yeah, yeah. i mean at one point yeah. i was just like oh my gosh i'm at this show when i was a little kid and you're back morning express so <laughs> but then after a while i was like oh wait this is cool this is fun um and i mean i couldn't eat the food that they were making on the show but it's fine but everything else i mean it was awesome what couldn't you eat the food no because it was for the the they don't eat the food when they make it. You, they they put Why? it away. I don't know. Ask the they producers. Put it away to, to so like where? they make it and they like they show it off and then I'm like oh and then like goes away and I'm like where does it go? <laughs> I'm just like so, ah. So they don't even get a taste. So just even the one presenter was like Don Juan. I'm like no, but I because they looked at me like no, you we don't we don't mean to get this. I wanted that cookie. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I would have said, I said is, is there a way yeah, that I can, like, get, the way that that I can get this <laughs> like I but I think for them the catering is like no what do you want we'll get it for oh, you outside okay, of being cool. cooked uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yes. cool. very this, very fun it was fun that's, that's, that's really dope it was fun oh like was, damn man you it, like I, I, I don't know I wish I like I, yeah we I can hear you, you. Yeah. click it in the, yeah, yeah yeah I can't because I have gloves on <laughs> You, okay wow on it uh, on it i can yeah wow. like yours was even your face was doing the, the whole thing the, mm, mm. uh how did you get into that though like what happened did they like hit you up uh, or somebody plugged you up mm. so i think um when i was prior to like the song count on you and i was doing the music before obviously um someone had said uh their family friend had been on it and sent because they were like oh isn't your niece like an artist yeah. here's the contact and i hit them like two years ago when i had released like booty and i'd be like can i come on your show nothing nothing ish, ish. guys it took me three years and then finally it came shout to shout the out. time and they were like hi don <laughs> <laughs> But it was, Literally. it was the perfect timing because yeah. now I think with counting you and Ivan, you know, going back with the EP, look at me pushing myself back on Expresso. <laughs> um, it, it, the thing is, it's not too different. I mean, I might look different than I was blonde, but I mean, the brands are still same. I'm still grungy, I'm still retro and the music still make a sense. Mm, <laughs> make sense. Make a, make a sense. Yeah. Yes. No, 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 no. Yeah. Shout out to you. I think that's you, an Italian man. accent. I don't even know yeah. what I did there. Make it yeah, sense. because Is remember it? London. Yeah. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> remember yes, darling, London. London. Remember, London. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all there. It's all there. <laughs> and you also did uh, what is it called? Uh, we can turn up. Yeah, of Sports course. Scene. Sports scene. Yes. Sports out, scene is the fam. Out. It's the fam. Yeah. Fam things. They were one of the first to right away pick up when I had sent. Um, I think it was. Oh, what? Yeah, waiting. So the very first songs, waiting and all, and they yeah. were just like, oh yeah. 
they were like we we love this who yeah. are you you're so Shit, interesting and that was around when Costa and that one sports scene and it was just oh, like uh, it was more yeah. like hip hop yeah, artists yeah. so Money Badu and then soul artists like Lord Kiz and then I was like ah will I even you know feature because it was just more R&B hip hop hip-hop, and soul yeah, yeah, yeah. and then they were like they were like no hey girl we come you're interesting you're you're different yeah. too and sports scene doesn't just want to be that. I mean unfortunately yes it has been because more artists are doing those genres yeah. but no like we we, we want to know you more. Shout so out, yeah, man. shout out to sports scene. Shout out to sports scene. Still, still. Yeah, shout out to sports scene, man. For the plug. Like, did yeah, you actually, actually see yourself? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Sports scene. Scene. Yeah. <laughs> but did you actually see yourself like being under sports scene when you when they actually came to approach you? Um, and I, I you got to envision yourself, in, you know, in everything that you want. So I did. <laughs> I was like, I see, you know, with the the, the background glowing Mm -hmm. there. I was just like, I saw me eventually coming on. I was just like, I don't know when, but I know what I'm going to say when I get in there, what I'm going to wear, what songs and um, yeah, how I'm just going to approach it. But yeah, I I did see it. I saw it. Oh, I you hear that, guys? You must see yourself. See it. Envision it. Envision it. 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 And facts. you're not crazy for thinking facts, that. Facts. You're so, really not. <laughs> so when we drop in this EP, ah, dates, please. Dates. Uh-uh, no, I'm not giving you an exact date, but in September, oh, going in into spring, spring and in summer. Sprung. Yes, in oh, spring and please. summer. Oh, please. <laughs> um, definitely, because that's the vibe of the EP. Like you'll even hear it from the the two slower tracks to the very upbeaty tracks. It's very that festival party vibe, sure. but also like your sunset. Drank, yes, bar, yes. sundowners, sundowners so sounds like beach an side. Sounds like an album. No, an album is like eight tracks and more. Yeah, but like Ooh. the structuring of the songs. like you Yes, yes, so it was yeah, on that storytelling right. line. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, no, yeah. definitely. Oh, it, it so like. is Ivide on it also? Yeah, of course. He's on my guy currently that is streaming. So go and, um, and stream okay. it. Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, it's also Paddy Monroe and Ava. Paddy Monroe. Yes. Yes, Paddy. That is just, guys, I've got to tell you how that happened. We were in studio mm-hmm. and Ava had, um, so she's also another recording artist. She was just like, she heard it and was like, yo, I'm going to jump in this dawn. I was like, okay, cool. And she's like, do you mind? Paddy's visiting Joburg and they had met somewhere and she was like, can she just come through the studio? Mm. And then they were going to go for dinner. And I was like, of course, Paddy Monroe. What yes. the hell? What the hell? So Paddy comes what in. She's chilling in the background. She's sitting quiet, so I'm thinking this bitch is probably like, oh gosh, the industry is failing, or I don't know, I don't know. Like, I go crazy. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is she? You know, you're trying to understand. Yeah, yeah. And then she just t- gets up and goes, she goes, darling, can I just be on this song quickly? I'm like, what? She's what? Like, can I just try something? Me, she was there trying to write to the. She's like, because she's so sexy. She's like, no one's. And I was like, you want to be on the track? She's like, um, yes. What do you mean? <laughs> I was shocked. It was Shut nice up. because she's, you know, an established artist and she's done the most. So mm-hmm. when you're at an independent Akabi level and some people that you see in the in the limelight or mm-hmm. on radio and everything going, yo, your 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 stuff is dope. It's dope yeah. You're just yeah, like, uh, am I dreaming? <laughs> yeah, you're like, I can imagine. Yeah, it was nice. And it was just like so nice and everything, like the whole energy just float. And we're all different like artists yeah. as females. Like Patty, you know, is hip hop. Others, you know, um, you'd say also pop, but like more the R and B soul vibe. And then I'm like that ulti, you know, that pop rock yes. and pop grunge, and it was just amazing. Dope, dope, dope. Who else is on the EP? Um, and then so Nashe, you know, do you know an old ridge? So in the. <laughs> Shout out wow, Orridge, oh, Orridge, and Nashe. So Orridge helped write on Undeserving, and Nashe is actually the the voice, the pre-chorus voice on Undeserving. And I'm telling oh. you now, I call. I was like, no, you make the intro, my dude. I was like, you. I was like to him because he was like, no, you can just. I'll just do that, and then I don't need to have like royalties or anything. I'm like, are you mad? The in the start of the song is what gets people. Yeah, and you did that. Yeah. Of course you're getting royalties. Yeah. Give me your name. Let you get a percent. What's wrong with you? I was so angry at him. And then he also he was like, but I don't want... He's like, no, I don't want to be a feature on it. And I was just like, okay, I can respect some artists are more like 
this was more for you really? than yeah, for me yeah, because yeah. he was also at a time where he didn't want to release music and be an artist. But I mean, now I can see he's like, hey, Don, this is so dope. And, uh, so no, I not sure. And then, so yeah, the sure. producers that are on it are the Lord Jazz from Universal Publishing, Vuga, who's Gigi Lemayne's producer, oh, and wow, then so Avida, who's also a producer and also... Nah, sounds, sounds like and something, sounds like something... <laughs> waiting and expecting so please tell us where we are gonna get this ep when it comes out so on all social or media it's and digital platforms, platforms. Mm-hmm. um so don calia d-o-n space c-a-l-y-a is my name across all platforms are you sure you spotted it right? i did don't <laughs> trust me you see the one time someone asked me that i was like <laughs> yes i feel like you christened yourself that's why i'm asking no you know what i'm thinking of did i say the space correctly because i feel like people miss and they're like what did she say in between there i mean like don oh space space Calia, C-A-L-Y-X. So it's not one word. Yeah. It's not one word, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so you're saying yeah. where else? So, yeah. Uh, you can catch me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, TikTok. You're on TikTok? Yes, For I'm on real? TikTok. I it's got TikTok. 238 followers. Uh, oh, you're doing, you're doing, you're doing boop, good. Boop. Doing good. Boop, they- <laughs> Thank you. You see, I know we would have been there. You would have been there. I feel like, oh, come on, my dude. Like you don't want to know that that's it. Yeah, don't. It's Women's Month. We have you now. Uh, Thank you so much for making this. Like, like this has been beautiful. It's been such a beautiful journey to like not only like sit down here with you, but to hear the different things that you've done and Mm. you know the inspiration that you bring to others because I believe that you know sometimes you may think that you only have fans that are out there screaming you but mm. there are people that are low-key vo- vouching, vouching for you yeah. and you know that are also keeping you in their prayers to you know to push this mission that you're on and oh. you know they see things that you don't see about yourself but, Yes, you know those are the people that are low-key pushing you and you mm. don't even know that so mm. thank you so much for thank you know you. the inspiration and the journey and you know like seeing that you know you, you come through a lot you <laughs> come from London <laughs> 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 yo, oh, yo, yo, oh my yo, gosh! Don't ask me. Like, time, was like yeah. wait, Don's from Texas. Like, yeah, no, like you, you <laughs> no, guys, you gotta watch the interview to understand it. Don't, don't, don't see this and that be the intro. Went through all those places, and it's beautiful to see that you know you you embrace every place that you 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 were at through yeah. not only your music through your. Your, your spirit also mm. and your oh, aura because cool. you have a really beautiful aura because Thanks. it wouldn't have been easy to you know sit down here with you if you didn't have that but yeah. you're so welcoming and you bubbly and you keep at that oh, that's, that's what's going to make up you Ooh, know what she because she knows me dog. Oh. Oh. Wow, Come really? On. That's the end of his things. Like, because of me. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, wow. Yeah. And then ends. No, he doesn't. No, do don't do it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Like we, I told you that we are far away from that. Yeah, oh okay. wow! But, oh, thank yeah, that, that you, was a thank great you. outro. Thank you so much for having me, and thank you guys for being so. Com- <laughs> you guys would be so comfortable and patient and supportive. So I appreciate you guys and the imminent team. Thank you. Shout so out much. to you guys. Thank you so I hope so to be back. Yep. <laughs> now we're yeah. coming back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah definitely, obviously. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. 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 You know? Guys, it's been the Eminent Focus. My name is Finesse the DJ. Mr. Les Yara Yara Mo Bang Bang. You know what I'm Woo. saying? Of course, and you got your girl Lent. And we out. Out of here. Bye. <laughs>